I am happy. So we are so proud of her. We are so proud of her. She do a lot. Her journey is not easy. She's coined the nickname Miriam Miracle. 12 year old Miriam Tanis is the youngest person in the country to receive a total artificial heart. The grade seven student from Toronto is a patient of sick kids. She was born with two types of congenital heart disease, Epstein's anomaly, a leaky valve, and cardiomyopathy, an ill-formed right ventricle. Five years ago, Miriam had her first transplant, but just last year, her body rejected it. And that's how she ended up with a total artificial heart. Total artificial heart is the device uh, comes with uh, essentially two separate pumps. Uh, how it works is that uh, we remove uh, the patient pumping chamber called the ventricles. So we remove uh, both right and left uh, pumping chambers, replace with this artificial pump. And then uh, this you know, artificial pump will be controlled by the big tubing coming out of the chest. And then that's how we uh, support the patient. And then uh, this device is uh, designed as a bridge to transplantation. She's uh, um, uh, one of the smallest patients who received this device. Uh, the, the one of the challenge of implanting this total tissue heart in children is that this is really bulky device. This is designed to support the adult. Two uh, big surgical challenges there. So one challenge is that when we implant this device, this pump, uh, so total artificial heart pumps are really stiff and then uh, also uh, pushes on other important structures like a systemic veins or, or veins from the lungs. Um, and then uh, the second challenge was that uh, because heart chest is so small compared to the device, we couldn't close the chest right away. So heart chest has to be left open for five days uh, before we uh, before you were able to close. After the success of this procedure, two months later, Miriam received her second transplant. It's like an extremely long shot. We we really didn't, we didn't know whether this is going to work uh, because of this combination of medical challenges and surgical challenges. And she also had to survive these two big operations, you know, the device implantation and second heart transplantation. So she did very well. Uh, in two surgeries. Overall, this is like you know, uh, uh, you know, very slim chance to to make it work. And uh, but she 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 did survive. Very happy for Mariam and her family. Day by day, she show us how she how much she is strong. Now she is moving around us, and thanks God, this is a miracle. She got to play with her brother and. She drumming and she do a lot of activities with her aunt and her dad. Miriam attends school and gets to participate in regular activities. She does, however, have to continue regular follow-ups with the hospital and take immunosuppressants every day. For City News, I'm Stella Cuisto.